Let's uh, quickly move over to uh, Pamela Young at Jill Takuda headquarters. And, of course, we're talking about the lieutenant governor's race there. Pamela? Hi, Jill Takuda has arrived at her headquarters and has already addressed uh, some of her supporters here. We're waiting for her to say a few words to us. At the beginning of August, the polls had her about 15 points behind uh, Josh Green, and right now uh, the voters have, have her about five points behind. Hi, Jill. Thank you for joining us. Um, you're right now just five points behind Josh Green. At the beginning of August, it was more than 15 points. What's made the difference? You know, I really do feel that working with people and having all the people power that you see right behind me, we were able to get our message um, out to, you know, the, our communities. And one that really, I think, resonated in terms of working families needing a strong voice uh, in government and the fact that it was about the experience that I brought to the table, whether it was chairing ways and means and balancing a budget and, and understanding what was required um, to make sure that you had decisive leadership. I think that was really essential. Uh, and people understood that when you have this experience and you've had this ability to um, take tough stands and make um, tough decisions, that it can really result in um, the kind of leadership people need um, at the end of the day. And so I think, you know, this good messaging and strong leadership um, getting it out to people, using people power at the end of the day, that really made the difference. You've always been strong in your home district of Kaneohe. What was the, the challenge in transitioning between district campaigning and statewide? You know, it's always hard to go from um, 125th of the state into the entire state, obviously. Um, but I think really you have to just look at building relationships. Um, and I am very blessed that I have amazing people throughout the state in many communities um, that have joined our team. And I really owe a great deal of thanks um, to so many individuals statewide and so many communities that have just, um, you know, embraced me and have, you know, taken to the streets, taken to the phones, written friend to friend cards, um, been part of our family and really reached out and helped to bring all those votes that you see. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of love right there. That's a lot of time and effort. Right now, the breakdown has you on Oahu about 5,000 points of uh, votes ahead of Josh Green. Mm -hmm. What are your hopes for the neighbor islands? You know, I really hope, and I think you can even see that in the votes, we do have strength there. You know, perhaps Josh might be leading in some areas, but just to see all those votes that have come in um, on Hawaii Island, on Maui, on Kauai as well, many would think that Bernard would take all of those votes, but you do see us taking a considerable amount of votes as well. It's because we've had so much momentum building because of our teams there. Um, and to me, again, it's because of those relationships that I've built, not just this past year, but over time as well. And I really credit our teams that have been in all those communities working hard with me, but also going out there, making sure we have strong grassroots support, uh, making sure that those issues that they care about, that I sit there and I listen, and we work through what solutions will be that are important for the lieutenant governor's office um, and that what actions we'll be taking um, going forward as well. Uh, what words do you have for your supporters sitting at home? You know, again, just like I had talked about a few minutes ago, a great deal of mahalo. You know, I really do feel uplifted right now. There's no weight on my shoulders at this moment. It's just so much gratitude, so much blessings. There are so many hundreds and thousands of people out there. For everyone that casted a vote, to every single person that has, you know, donated time and efforts and resources to this campaign, they truly made sure that our messages got out there. But more importantly, they understood how important this cause was to every working man and woman in our community, to every individual that understood that we need strong leadership. Um, so much love and mahalos go out to every single individual. Um, and truly um, a great deal of gratitude on behalf of myself and my family. And that's really what I want to send out to them right now. Okay. Thank you very much, Jill Tokuda. Thank you. Okay. Jill Tokuda, we will be hanging out here until the third and fourth um, uh, printouts here with her family uh, behind her, two sons, Matt and Aiden. That's a big family. <laughs> Back to you, Joe. All right. Thanks, Pamela.